Hey guys, welcome in. How's everybody doing today? My name is Shannon and we're here with a timeless reading for the Aquarius Collective. All right, Aquarius, what are we starting out with here? First card we have out is the Lovers. Second card we have out is the Page of Cups. So Aquarius, looks like this is going to be likely a love reading. If this isn't a love reading, this could be about needing to make some type of a decision um, that aligns with you morally. It feels to me like you have somebody coming into your space. You have to see the King of Wands on the bottom of the deck here. You could be dealing with a fire sign, doesn't necessarily have to be, but this is somebody coming in trying to offer you something that is making you feel good emotionally. Um, the Page of Cups can be a little bit of a naive energy, but it can also indicate the beginning of something new, something that is exciting, something that you haven't experienced yet. And the lover speaks to something really being tied to us. Like this would be, I hate to use the term soulmates, but something along these lines where you feel like, oh, okay, this was destined to happen, this is fate, this is karma, etc. Let's get a little bit further. Let's see what else we need to know here. We have the Ace of Wands, the Emperor, the star on the bottom of the deck. So guys, whatever this situation is that's coming in for you, it looks to me like it does have the potential to be something stable, something lasting, something that you are currently finding interesting. So if you're in a place right now where you don't want love, you're not looking for love, you hate everybody that's around you, this isn't your reading, okay? But for who this is for, if you're already partnered up, this could also be like a renewal of those feelings. Um, for your partner that you currently have and re-stabilizing the situation that you're in. Because with the star on the bottom of the deck, it leads me to believe that there has been some type of healing that has happened here, whether that is on your end, we've done some healing and now we're opening up to these possibilities, or there's been healing done in the context of this pairing, okay? Um, and it's kind of like, that actually feels more right to me than this being something new. Even though we don't have the Six of Cups out here, it feels to me like this is like, a, like an invigorating energy, like something's being started back up, but in the right way this time. Yeah, I've, underneath the star, we have the Knight of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. The hanged man. So again, it feels like this is something that came around once and now is coming back around again, but after a significant period of introspecting, looking into what we actually want, making a decision about, you know, what direction we want to head in. Now that we're there, now that we've put that work in, we're moving forward through this, or we have the opportunity to move forward through this, I should say. Yeah, Two of Swords just fell out the bottom of the deck. So it doesn't feel to me like you've made a firm decision on what you're going to do about this yet. Okay, so Two of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Three of Swords. You guys are still kind of up in your heads over this. You're not really sure what to do because, again, there's this feeling that you're putting in work on yourself or you're working towards something here in the physical, like you're focused on your bag, you're focused on getting your money, you're like, I don't have time for this, I don't wanna get involved back in another situation like I was involved in before, but it doesn't look like this is going to take that same route. What's on the bottom of the deck? Yeah, we have strength on the bottom of the deck. It seems like this decision is going to come down to whatever it is you decide you want to have happen. Yeah, the moon coming out after the Three of Swords. I should mention the Three of Swords, the moon, they both did just pop out reversed. 
So again, there's this idea of healing, but with the moon being here, it's kind of like there's some disillusionment because of how we may have been hurt in the past. We are working on that. We're focused. We're definitely focused here with the Eight of Pentacles. And that could be making this decision a little bit murky for you. With the moon coming out too, this is also us being guided to really trust our intuition, to really go in, inward into ourselves and allow that to help guide us in making whatever decision we need to make here. But there's definitely something on offer here something new, something exciting, something that looks like it could lead to something lasting and something stable. But again, it's kind of like we still have this blindfold on because of whatever happened to us in the past. And spirit saying, you know, a decision needs to be made here. And you're like, I, I can't make the decision right now. My, my eyes are covered. Like <laughs> my eyes are covered because I'm so focused on this. And if I step out of this energy, this might happen again. So there's definitely this, like a fear here. I see the chariot on the bottom of the deck. Really, this is going to come down to you and where you want to steer yourself, where you want to place your focus. Let's see, what else do we need to know for Aquarius? Justice. The page of wands, the devil on the bottom of the deck. So justice and the page of wands coming out. It feels to me like you're being encouraged to navigate this situation cautiously. We do have the devil down here on the bottom of the deck, but again, I feel like this is tied to whatever happened here in the past. It's like you finally broke free of something and you're afraid of getting caught back up in that same cycle, but I'm not seeing this be the same cycle that we went through previously. It's like, this is something completely different, but we're still kind of projecting something from the, from the past onto this new opportunity. With justice in the page of wands, it's it's like, feel free to explore this, feel free to get excited about this, but do so in moderation. Make sure that you're, you're staying balanced. Like we're not allowing ourselves to get carried away. We're not allowing ourselves to attach completely to this person, right? We're remaining semi-detached from this situation because at the end of the day, we should be able to fulfill ourselves, right? We don't need somebody else to come in and fill our cup for us. We can do that ourselves. Anybody that comes into our lives, lives are just a bonus. That's just something extra. And it feels like that's what you've gone through here with this healing process where you're getting to this place of being like, I'm enough. Um, but just because you're enough doesn't mean you can't have other people in your life. And maybe that's the decision point you're at right now, where you're like, I'm finally starting to feel okay on my own. And now here comes this new opportunity. And it's like, do you want to add another person into your life for the sake of it being a bonus? Do you feel like you're in a place where you're confident enough in yourself to say, I don't need someone else, but I would like someone else. Um, and it feels like that's the decision here. Like if we can make this decision and step into this without attachment, you're heading in the right direction. If you're still in a stage where you're uncertain about that, you're uncertain if, you know, this would end up leading to some type of an attachment for you that could then end up in turn hurting you again then maybe you do wanna keep your nose to the grindstone and keep working on what it is you're working on as far as healing is concerned. Let's pull a couple more cards, but I feel like that's, that's the gist of this reading here. 
yeah, we have the chariot, the, so justice, the page of wands, the chariot, the page of swords. So there's kind of like this fluctuation between these new, exciting, let's go, let's get it energies and these energies of, okay, let's take a, like these bigger energies here with the major arcana of let's take a step back. Let's make sure everything's balanced. Let's make sure that it's our willpower that's steering this ship and not anything else. Not our feelings of loneliness, not our feelings of lack. None of that. We're going into this for the right reasons or we're not going into it at all. That's kind of the vibe here. So I feel like this is, this is really spirit asking you to assess where you're at on your healing journey. How far have you come? Are you ready to step into something without attachment? Are you ready to step into a relationship or whatever the lovers is representing for you? This could also be a connection as far as, you know, your creative side goes. This could be friendship. Take it as it resonates for you. But are you able to step into whatever this situation is as a full and complete person where we're not looking to the other party as something that is going to make us complete? Are we ready to step into a situation like this as a complete person? and whole package. And if the answer to that is yes, then I feel like you're being encouraged to move forward. If the answer to that is no, then I feel like spirit saying it's okay to stay here and keep putting the work in that you're putting in. So don't rush into anything, but be honest with yourself. Be truthful with yourself, not only about what it is you want, but about where it is you are as far as healing from past wounds goes. All right, friends, that's where we're gonna leave it at today. Oh, I hope this reaches whoever it is that needs to hear it. I love you guys so much. I hope you're all having a beautiful day and I will talk to you again soon.